Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GM TV. And just a quick one. Today we have um, a message from Mazi Samonekwa, our Prime Minister, um, about what is going on and what is to come in Biafra land. And also the title of this very one is uh, the Declaration of the United States of Biafra and uh, how it will happen. So um, this one is the first segment and the second segment will be posted on the 20 on the 28 so this one is just the first segment the second segment is question and answer and uh, that question and answer also leads to how and where what uh, people have to do if you are not contributing people that are not contributing to the cost what will happen to them and people that are contributing to the cost of the freedom as well and what it will happen to them as well so everybody's not going to be treated the same way because if you don't contribute at least you too you should know what is going on right now uh, and there's no excuse for you not to contribute i'm not going to take much time on this i'll leave this uh, message to play so while you listen this is gem tv if this is your first time of coming across our channel please do us a favor like share so comment let other people know about gem tv so watch and listen to this as it goes. Space live with me, my humble self, the servant of the Biafra people, the Prime Minister of the Biafra government, both in the exile and in homeland. I remain Mazi Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the United States of Biafra government in exile. I welcome you all this afternoon to this brief live space. The declaration of the United States of Biafra and how it will happen. I will be open to receive questions. I will be open here to address a lot of your concern but let me start this particular space live space today by saying we will never allow those who killed us to have peace in Biafra land we will never allow them to have successful burial of their loved ones we will never allow them to have a successful burial of their parent. We will never allow them to conduct any burial ceremony in Biafra land as far as this particular Biafra struggle continues to go on under Nigeria. For this reason, I want to get a very explicit report on the planned burial arrangement of Soludo, Soludo's mother, which, according to the information, is to hold on the 23rd of December. Everybody in Anambra, old Anambra, every Biafran, we need authentic information about the planned barrier. We can never allow them to bury their loved ones in peace. They never buried those they killed in Biafra. The family they deprived and killed their loved ones never had the opportunity to bury them. They never had the opportunity to even recover the corpses. Those who are mourning in anger and bitterness. Those their loved ones have been killed by the bullet of Soludo and his accomplices and cohort. Each time there is barrier, we will make sure they will never have peace. So if Soludo is going to have barrier of his mother on the 23rd of December, there will be a change in our seat at home. But I want a very authentic information to this effect. Those of you in Anambra, Come up and tell us, is it true 
that Soludo is going to have a burial on the 23rd of December before we go into the announcement that we will make in the next State of the Union broadcast. Changes will come in our already proposed seat at home. However, the topic today remains the declaration of the United States of Biafra, how it will happen. I want every one of you today to understand that you are already in Biafra. Those who are asking, did you say Biafra will come in 2023? Biafra has been restored already. Biafra has been restored. What is remaining is a complete declaration that will be defended. And before that happens, there are many things that we need to put in place, which we are doing day and night. If at this point, you are still asking Simon Ekpa, when is the Biafra coming? You say you are declaring Biafra in 2023. I want you to recount the achievement of the Biafra Republic government in exile under the leadership of Simon Ekpa, what we have achieved in 2023, and ask yourself that question again. And you will look very stupid. We have been able to form government in exile in 2023. In 2023, we have formed the de facto government. In 2023, we have launched Biafra Liberation Army. In 2023, we launched Biafra Navy. We launched Biafra Air Force. We launched the forces of Biafra. In 2023, we adopted Helsinki Declaration, which is the constitution of Biafra. In 2023, we had a convention in Finland where Biafra people gathered from all over the world as delegates to vote on the Biafra Charter, which is a living document subjected to amendment. In 2023, we have created 40 states of Biafra. And believe me, many more states will come. Because we are not done yet. In 2023, not only that we created state, we also brought a redesigned and a redrawn Biafra map to reflect the current situation and the current demography of Biafra. In 2023, we started engaging officially Nigeria State in a guerrilla warfare on self-defense. In 2023, we officially and publicly engaged Nigeria Terrorist Army and we are neutralizing them on daily basis. It has never happened before in the history of Biafra after the war. In 2003, we publicly and openly made sure that Nigeria doesn't kill again in Biafra land and go free. So, if you look at those things I've mentioned, and those ones I've not even mentioned, are you still going to challenge Simon Ekpa that Biafra has not been restored in 2023? Is it when I open my mouth and say, I have declared Biafra, everybody, uh, come now. Is that when you think that Biafra has come? Biafra declaration is not about mouth pronouncement. It's about putting every structure in place. It's about putting every mechanism and measures in place to shaping the map and the structure of Biafra. In 2023, we have designed the economic viability of Biafra. In 2023, we have kicked off the Biafra Urban Development Project. In 2023, we've made a lot of impact globally. In 2023, the Biafra awareness gained the highest momentum in the history of Biafra since after the war. 
in 2023, we made the Nigeria terrorist army to cry on the floor of National Assembly. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria. In 2023, those who are serving as the agent of Nigeria, benefiting from the corrupt entity called Nigeria, openly called for persecution, execution, and the kidnapping and arresting of Simon Ekba because they know that this is a different thing from what they have seen in their entire lives. In 2023, they call for the arrest of Simon Ekpa and call for the release of Mazen Abdikano. Confusion. In 2023, after they have used many years to plan the kidnap of Mazen Abdikano, they have come to say Mazen Abdikano is a saint. He's a very gentle man. He's a nice person. But just two years ago, they kidnapped this nice person from Kenya. Two years ago, they tortured him for eight days. Two years ago, he was an evil man. Two years ago, they called him terrorist. Two years ago, he was everything evil to them. Two years ago, they spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. They kidnapped him and put him into a private jet from Kenya to Nigeria. Two years ago, Mazin Namdi Kano was everything evil to Nigeria, including to Hanez Ndibu and all of them. Two years ago, he was the only problem of Nigeria. Two years ago, he was the only person that constituted all manner of insecurity in Nigeria. He was the one who is more deadlier than Boko Haram. He was everything that Nigeria don't want to see today. As Simon Epa take the Biafra liberation to the next level, the same people are now calling Mazen Namdekano the most sensible person. These are hypocrites. These are devilish people. These are criminals. That only thing they want to do is to give dog a bad name in order to kill it. They have given bad that name to Mazen Namdekan. They themselves were the one who condemned Mazen Namdekan. The same people today, they have seen that, yes, indeed. Someone actually followed this full step of Mazen Namdekano and ready to drag all of them to the Afro land. So that Kalu Ewa Hakubu Hanobe. And we will treat their fuck up. We will treat their fuck up very well. Today, the same people who gave the bad name to Mazen Amdekano in order to be kidnapped, they slandered his name, blackmailed him to other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria. All of them today has come to say that Mazen Amdekano is very sensible. Now, it is Samonekpa is the problem. These people who are just evil from birth refuse to understand why Simon Ekpa have decided to take this thing upon himself to liberate the people of Biafra who has been subjugated and chained with Islamic State agenda. They found themselves in a hole. They tagged us dots in a circle. Because they thought that they have actually systematically conquered everybody by dividing, creating state, dividing us, changing the demography and map of the Afra people. And at the end of the day, they structured out five tiny states, called it five eastern states. And they say, let us continue.
to divide them. And now they tell you, oh, you are talking about Biafra. You are just five states in the circle. We have come to destroy their evil agenda. Today, you will understand that the plan of the Islamic State has failed. Today, the Biafra people are proudly announcing the 40th state, which is called the United States of Biafra. 40 complete state cut across board, including in the area where they claim they were never Biafra. The reason we did what we did is that we have studied the reason Nigeria succeeded in creating division between Biafrans in the 60s. Because the leaders of Biafra movement in the 60s, led by Ikemba Odine Gojoko, had their own flaws. I have come to learn from what Biafra did wrong in 1967 to 1970, I have come to learn what Wazirike did wrong from the time he, he, was, he started the Biafra movement, and I have come to learn what Mazinam Dikano did right and was in the process of doing before the plan had kidnapped him. I continue from there. And today, we are where we are. They are not resting. Those IPOB Nigeria are not resting as well. Every given opportunity, they think that there is infight in the Biafra government. They will say, oh, their hope now is that they are fighting. Oh, their hope now is that there is a voice note from Madame Erewa. Oh, they are vote, they are not, you know, they are fighting and they are hoping that there is infight in the Biafra government. And uh, that, that is to tell you that, like we said, they are cost. They are cost. And they can never rise again. The Afra government in exile is a government that nobody, nobody born of a woman marching on this planet, using your foot to walk on the ground will ever, ever destroy. Biafra has been restored in 2023. Biafra has been restored in 2023. We have a government, we have a structure of the government of Biafra, we have every department that made Biafra government a legitimate government. The people of Biafra are loyal to the government, both in the exile and in the homeland. We have governors, state administrators in all the 40 states of Biafra. We have the deputy governors, which is called administrators. We have the secretary of state of each state in Biafra land. We have the chairman and managers of county and the district. If you do not understand that with this structure we have now, one day you will sleep in Nigeria and wake up in Biafra. It means that you are an idiot. I told you that by the time I finish with Nigeria, you will sleep in Nigeria one day and wake up in Biafra. You do not expect me or expect any reasonable person fighting for freedom to just wake up one day and say, oh, we have declared Biafra, just like what our forefathers and our grandfathers did in the 67 and 70, without structure, without structure, without resolving the grievances and the division created by Fulanese, without amicably Resolving those fears of Undi dominating 
without resolving the fear of Wendy Ibo conquering, which was never there. Of course, you cannot blame them because it was a fight for survival. It was a fight that leads to what we are doing today, to the successes we are recording today, to everything everybody has done today, from Wazurike to our leader who is now being illegally detained, to my humble self and to the government. It is what led to, what gives the validation to what we do today. So you cannot blame them. That is how God wanted it to happen. The foundation we are laid, at least today, we can boast about fighting war with Nigeria and gallantly defeating them for three years. Not just with Nigeria, with the world power. For three good years, we hold them. It is a history that can never be wiped out of this planet. So my people, for those who are asking when are you going to declare Biafra, we have already declared Biafra. We are only waiting for us to conclude the last phase of the Biafra government and one day you will sleep and wake up in Biafra. Like I said, then we must capture every cranny of the Biafra territory. We will start setting up our police. The next phase is to set up the police of Biafra, the Biafra police. The reason why we have not set up the police is because it is going to be state police. Every state will have their police. Every state will be independent. It is going to be local police and there is no interference from the central government of Biafra. The military is a joint military. It's one military that will protect the territorial integrity of Biafra. When one state is attacked, it means that you have attacked all of us. But police will be state, state police. That's why we have not started unveiling of the Biafra police. Each state will have their police in due time. I welcome all of you with this speech, opening speech, and I will be open for question and answer for a few minutes and call it a day. Remember, today, the seat at home is again another successful, successful one, and it is still ongoing. Everywhere in Biafra land is under lock and key. Those states who has Nigerians in them living in Biafra land challenging the resolve of the Biafra people, the day of reckoning is coming. Continue. Yes, everyone. Um, this is the first segment on this very, very message. You're going to hear the other one on the other side. That's tomorrow morning by 6 o'clock uh, in Biafra land. You will hear the other part message that we'll be posting. This is GM TV. So stay tuned for tomorrow for the full information about what you have to do.